attention. You are in breach of security. Surrender and you will be escorted back to the research compound. Any action other than surrender will be... Forget, folks before we go any further if you haven't already please subscribe to the channel like the video ring the bell and all that jibber jabber and thank you very much for supporting Invincible Asia. Often seen as Hong Kong cinema's answer to Batman, Jet Li's Black Mask became one of the most successful Asian superhero movies ever, quickly becoming a cult classic with martial arts film and action fans the world over. Produced by the prolific and hugely talented Choi Hark, who no doubt took over the helm for some of the scenes in the film, this 1996 production would be the third directorial feature of the fantastic Daniel Lee and the film that really put him on the map. Of course, before that, Lee had made his feature film debut with the wonderful What Price Survival in 1994 with stars Damien Lau, David Chang and Norman Choi Soo Kung, a project that had caught the eye of Choi Hark who then asked Lee to direct the television movie Wong Fei Hung, The Eight Assassins, a chapter of the film series that saw Vincent Zhao Wen Zhao continue his role as the titular hero. Aside from producing, Hark is also credited as one of the writers, joined in that department by the popular Teddy Chen, director of Purple Storm, The Accidental Spy and Bodyguards and Assassins. Also the prolific Joe Ma, director of films such as Lawyer Lawyer, Fighting for Love and Hidden Heroes, and Kohn Hoi, who also worked as a writer with Hark on The Blade and Time and Tide, as well as going on to direct Jet Li in the underrated League of Gods two decades later. Of course, their writings would be based on the Chinese comic by Li Chi Tak and would keep true to the original material for the most part. Saying that, the movie has been released in four or five different versions over the years, from Hong Kong to Taiwan, the US to UK, and many more. The aforementioned Kun Hoi also serves as the first AD, with Cold War director Sonny Luk and Limbo director Soi Chung working as second ADs respectively. Interestingly, the former two would appear throughout the movie in cameo roles. The film's comic book style visuals were beautifully captured by cinematographer Tony Chung Tung Lung, who had previously shot Vampire Family, Drunken Master 2 and Midnight Caller just before, although would go on to lens Island of Greed, Beast Cops and Hit Team, as well as Daniel Lee's own Three Kingdoms, Resurrection of the Dragon, Fourteen Blades, White Vengeance and Dragon Blade among others. Interestingly, Choi Hark would follow up with a sequel in 2002, this time starring Andy On as the titular hero, and the late Philip Coe would rush out his own produced version just a year before that, with Shadow Mask starring the wonderful Fan Su Wong in what was more of a prequel of sorts, although that would be released in some territories as Black Mask 3. The unrelated Black Mask vs Gambling Mastermind would quietly appear in 2002, with the little known Si Hong Bo as the star, yet is by far the most unrelated title to the original. Originally supposed to star the amazing Donnie Yen in the lead, a role he would later portray in Andrew Lau's Legend of the Fist, The Return of Chen Zhen, almost 15 years later, it's only fair to say that Black Mask has become somewhat of an iconic role for superstar Jet Li. Paying homage of sorts to Bruce Lee in The Green Hornet, something that is actually referenced in the film itself, Jet does a fantastic job as Chu Chick, the rebellious super soldier of the deadly 701 squad who has to go up against his old teammates and evil master. Of course, Jet had previously worked with Choi Hark on The Master, Swordsman 2 and the first three Once Upon a Time in China films, with the pair ending their working relationship soon after. 
Black Mask would see them reunite for the first time in a few years, quickly going on to make Once Upon a Time in China and America in 1997, but it would be well over a decade later before Jet would star for Choi again in the effects-filled Flying Swords of Dragon Gate. In Black Mask, Jet is joined by a stellar cast of stars including the much-loved and brilliant Lao Ching Wan, who had already been in the business a good decade and had a busy enough year in 1996 with films like Tristar, Big Bullet, Muto Bonte, Beyond Hypothermia, and Viva Erotica hiring his services alongside this. The lovely Karen Mock, who was still fairly new although had made a splash in films such as Chow Sing Chi's hilarious Chinese Odyssey 1 and 2, Out of the Dark, Fallen Angels, and Young and Dangerous 3, stars as Jet's co-worker and love interest who soon finds herself drawn into his secret life. Canadian television actress Francois Yip, who got her big break only the year before in Jackie Chan's Rumble in the Bronx, co-stars as another of Lee's love interests and equally deadly 701 Squad assassin, while the prolific and incredible Anthony Wong delivers another hatefully villainous role as only he can. Patrick Leung stars as the leader of the 701 Squad and Jet's final opponent, with Hong Kong stars Hung Yan Yan, Henry Fong and Moses Chan showing up throughout. It's also worth pointing out Brit Kicker, Mike Lambert's Scene Stealing Showdown, wonderfully choreographed and directed by the legendary Yu Mu Ping, aided by the talented Didi Ku and Dion Lam, who both appear or stunt double for certain stars throughout. Of course, this wasn't the first time Wu Ping and Jet Li would cross paths, with the pair working together on films such as the epic Tai Chi Master, Once Upon a Time in China 2, Last Hero in China, and Fist of Legend, later going on to team up for Ronnie Yu's Fearless and the hugely underrated Forbidden Kingdom along with Jackie Chan. Here, Yu Mu Ping delivers plenty of violent, fantastical and brutal fight scenes that don't disappoint and clearly sealed the deal for his soon to follow work on the groundbreaking Matrix movies in Hollywood. Overall, while it isn't perfect, Black Mask still stands as one of Jet's most entertaining modern action movies and a favourite for many fans the world over. Stylish, violent and action packed, one can't deny just how much fun the film really is, no matter which version you happen to be watching. <laughs>